Hi, today we are going to assemble our paper skimmer. Now that we have all four components drawn, we have our main body up top, we have our two fins on the side, and our air scoop which goes underneath. This video is going to show you how to build it and put it together. First thing we need to do is cut out all of the components. So we're not cutting on dotted lines, we're only cutting on solid lines. And make sure that we do this carefully because this is what the skimmer actually runs on on the ground. So if your cuts are jagged, it will not have a smooth surface to float on. So I'm taking my time and I'm being very careful, cutting out right on the line to the best of my ability. If you remember, this was a garbage piece, so we don't need that piece. All we're going to do is cut it right off. Great. That's our main body. Now we have our two fins and our air scoop and we simply cut right along the outside edge of each one. These should look like squares with the corner cut off. And they should both be identical sizes. So once we're done cutting them out, we'll compare to make sure that we drew them exactly the same. Hopefully we did. You should be taking your time and carefully cutting on the lines to make sure that everything is smooth, like I said before. Okay, our two air scoops, or sorry, our two fins, they look the same. Let's put them on top of each other. And they are exactly the same. Great. So now we have our two fins. And lastly, we have our air scoop. We're cutting on the outside of this. The air scoop is actually going to fit right inside the main body, so the measurements have to be very precise. Okay, we'll move all of our scrap paper to the side. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we are ready to assemble. Okay, let's start with the main body, so I'll move these out of the way. If you notice, there are dotted lines here. Those are going to be our fold lines. We also, though, have to cut notches. If you know, remember, we have a three inch line from the bottom. We're going to cut a notch right up to that three inch line so we have a little flap. Do not cut that flap off. Same thing on the other side. Right up to the three inch line. So we should have two flaps. Okay, here's a little trick that I came up with to make sure that we make our folds very nice and neat. I have a pen with a sharp point. I'm going to trace over my dotted lines and push very hard so I make an imprint in the folder. Don't worry that the line is there. We're going to fold it anyway. You'll never even see it. And an imprint. So now when I go to fold this, look how easy this is. I just simply fold right along and if you look at it from this angle you see how sharp that corner is very nice and smooth same thing on this side if we were to try and do this without drawing that line and pen first it would not be as nice so you can see from the top very smooth um, very smooth folds nice 90 degree angles Okay, we have to do the same thing on this line. Let's get our pen and draw an indentation and then we fold it down. Okay, this part is tricky. If you can see how it's sitting right now, this flap that we cut out in the bottom sort of makes a ramp and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to have it go from the bottom where the table is to the top where it's attached. 
So here's what I do. Take a little piece of tape and put it on the outside edge of your flap. It should be hanging over a little bit. Fold it back with your thumb and hold it in place while you angle it down to the bottom corner of that little flap and then slowly release the tape and your flap should be in place. So you can see from this view and this view it goes from the bottom up the ramp and it's now on an angle and we want to repeat that process on the other side. So we take a piece of tape, we overlap it just a little bit, fold it back with our thumb, and then make sure it goes down on an angle to the bottom corner. Slowly release, and it's taped in place. So now it should look like there's a ramp straight from the table up to the top of our main body. And that's our flap. Okay, now it's time for our fins. Our fins go on the side of that ramp that we just created. So get your glue stick, put a nice amount of glue on the side flap that we just taped that angle down. And then we want to set the fin on that flap. And we want to raise it up just a little bit above the bottom because when you rub your finger across the bottom, you don't want to feel any resistance. Nothing should get stuck. So it's perfectly in line, if not a little bit raised above. Give it a good squeeze and the glue should dry. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Put glue on the flaps. Make sure that your fins are facing the right way, the angle towards the front. We are currently working on the back. And again, squeeze it. Make sure that when you run your finger across the bottom that you don't feel anything. It should be nice and smooth. I actually do feel, so I have to slide it up just a tiny bit. And now we have both fins on. We have to let that glue dry before we do anything, before we test it but everything looks good now. Okay, now we have our air scoop. Our air scoop actually goes on the underside of the front of our skimmer, but we have these lines on the side. We need to do the same trick we did with our pen. Draw a nice hard line so we can fold on those lines. This is a really small piece of paper to fold, so this is where this trick comes in very handy. Okay, so I want to fold down on those lines. Again, see how easy that is once you make the line with your pen. So from the side you can see there's a small side, a low side, and it goes up to the big side. Here is our skimmer. We want to turn it upside down. Fins are in the back. Here is our front. We want to put the air scoop in with the low side towards the front and the higher side towards the back. It should fit right in and it does. Right in. We push it all the way down and bring it all the way up to the front. So that's what you should see from the front. That's what you should see from the back. Notice how it's all the way down, pushed all the way down. So let's get some glue on there. Put some glue on the side and put some glue on this side. Again, the lower side towards the front, the higher side towards the back. Set it in place. Make sure that it's all the way down and all the way to the front. And now this becomes a waiting game. We sit and we wait and we let the glue dry. This is very important. We need to make sure that the glue sticks to the side. Otherwise our air scoop's just gonna fall out when we throw it. So give it a couple minutes, give it a nice little squeeze. Once that glue is dry, you have a complete air skimmer.